Alright guys, today we're going to be tackling this outdoor part, which is the back of the cabin where, where the shower is. We're going to make like a wooden deck so we can we can shower nicely and be stepping on, on the deck. And also at some point, probably by the end of the day or even tomorrow, we're going to be building a wall there so we have some privacy. Right now here, I'm trying to figure out how to make this happen. And as for now, I think we're going to be laying 2 by 4 60 centimeters from each other, as you can see. Uh, this portion of the ground is a little bit higher. Maybe we need to fill a little bit here and dig a little bit there to make everything perfectly horizontal. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Now I'm gonna set all the tools ready and start working. Time to cut. Ha ha ha! 
I'm gonna make sure that uh, all the boards fit inside before I continue screwing. We're gonna take the whole thing uh, all the way back where the shower is. And uh, we're gonna level it. We will need to dig the ground a little bit in some places and maybe fill in other places. <laughs> so originally we had planned to have the platform all the way uh, touching the cabin, but we have decided to leave uh, like a 10 centimeter gap for these pipes to, to go up. And now what I'm gonna do is what I was saying earlier, like for example here, I will need to dig a little bit here underneath where this beam is, or I will bring the level out. So we already were able to make it horizontal in this direction, but now in this other direction we realize that it's better if we leave it a little bit tilt this way so when the water hits the wood it goes out uh, with a little bit of a slope going that way so it goes directly to, to the drain. <laughs> So we were able to level the whole platform and we ended up using these concrete bricks that we were placing strategically where we needed some support and now it's solid as a rock that this thing doesn't, doesn't move at all and now I'm gonna get ready all the boards and start screwing everything up so I'm gonna start screwing all the boards down By the way, uh, these boards normally come with two sides, one that is uh, nice and smooth and another one that as you can see has some grooves in it. This is designed so it doesn't uh, slip when it's wet. We have used the smooth side already and it's not uh, slippery at all. We think it's nicer and better looking and since it doesn't uh, slip either, we're gonna use it that way. I stop a little bit for, for lunch and um, I'm gonna come back here and finish these two boards. Sorry, it's super windy. Just need to screw these two boards. I think for today uh, the goal is to finish the platform, sand it and also apply the oil because the front deck and the fascia uh, we actually never apply oil. Like I didn't, never found the time to go again and, and sand it to apply the oil. I'd rather do it today because I know that if I don't do it today most likely I will never do it and it would be a pity to see this deck getting damaged from the water and everything because it doesn't have oil.
Alright, that was the last screw. So the deck is finished. Now I'm gonna sand it and give it a coat of oil. Very excited about how everything is looking. It's gonna be such a great addition to our house. The chance to have an actual an actual floor for the shower is it's just fantastic. Shower here with this floor. Ah, it's gonna be nice. going to be applying linseed oil it's a little bit more natural than varnish and it doesn't give any finish to the wood after a couple of days it everything gets a, like a nice patina I, th I feel like it's a little bit better than a, a varnish but you need to apply it probably once a year so um, in that sense it's a little bit worse than, than a varnish but yeah that's what we went for guys the deck is ready I already applied the oil and it looks pretty good I already applied also a second coat here in this area where the shower is so it has a little bit more of protection and I am absolutely destroyed so I think I'm gonna try to clean everything up and uh, call it a day it's been a very intense day and um, now after everything is finished and I turn the camera off it's where the reality comes in and I need to clean all this because I pretty much used all the tools that we own for this but uh, well the deck is looking fantastic and I cannot wait to to use it tomorrow you know now, as I said, we're gonna be building a wall here. I don't think we have enough material to go all the way up, but um, uh, we, we want to cover over up to here because sometimes with the wind, the heater turns off and on, on and off. So we're gonna put that wall there in order to, to cut a little bit the, the wind when it blows in this direction. Probably gonna try to do that tomorrow and you know, if in case that I don't have enough, enough material, then I will just leave it there for another day to complete. Thank you for staying with me today and um, now I'm gonna get ready to, 
to clean this mess. 